My name's Leon Desham. Um, I'm born and bred up in South Bay, WA. That's Bulgana country. I've, <laughs> I've been a commercial fisherman. I've been a diver. I've been an environmental consultant and a documentary filmmaker. I also ran my own tiger shark safaris for five years as an ecotourism venture out of, Mo out of Monkey Mire. In South Africa, they value each individual great white shark at $1.9 million. It's just due to the money bought in by diving, by ecotourism. Barnett wants to kill them. But not just them, he wants to kill the ones we've already spent millions on as taxpayers tagging. I'm not an expert and, and I'm not a politician. I don't have a political position on this, but I know this is bad policy. <laughs> my mum, Tuppy Winship, loved the ocean. And she got me my first boat when I was six. She died from cancer when I was 13. She told me, you have to hit a bully where it hurts him the most. And by that, I, I don't mean violence. She taught me to speak up for myself and others being bullied like our sharks. Make your voice heard the next election day. I grew up watching the breeding tiger shark schools in the shallows in my beautiful bay get smaller and smaller every year. I'm here today as the joint organiser of this rally because sharks don't have a voice. Or at least they didn't. I look out towards the ocean today and instead of the ocean I see a sea of people. A sea of people prepared to lend their hope and their hearts to the most hated animal on earth. And it gives me hope for the future. <laughs> In 18 months from now, my girl and I will have finally saved enough money to complete our shark arc conservation project. I've got to tell you, I was pretty excited when I discovered the word ark in the word shark. <laughs> we're, we're buying a private research vessel. We're buying it in Europe and we're sailing it back to WA, which will be available free of charge for actual experts and protectors like you who want to get involved in learning about sharks so that we can have the facts we so desperately need to fight this government who silences their fisheries employees and scientists with blackmail. Every single one of you is welcome aboard her. Probably not at the same time. <laughs> I wasn't expecting quite such a large crowd when I wrote this. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not protesters today, no matter what that bully boy Barnett chooses to say. Just take a moment. Look to your left and look to your right. You stand side by side today as protectors. Protectors of our sharks, protectors of our oceans, and protectors of the planet that we leave behind for all these children I see before me today. Four weeks ago, we didn't know each other. And now we rise together. A human tidal wave of reason, logic, science, empathy, and humanity. This law is not just wrong, it's inhumane. We intuitively as a species know this. We are going to rise as one and wash this Premier and his hateful policy down the drain and into the sewer where he and his bully boys belong. Our ancestors, the gold miners of the Eureka Stockade, were oppressed into slavery by a tyrannical government in 1854. They rose as one unstoppable force against unbeatable odds, rallying behind the words, 
when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. I thank you all. I thank you all for being here today and for doing your duty. I'm going to keep this short, but I just wanted to remind all of you protectors that Natalie Robin Banks, who has been called every name under the sun by those bullies Barnett and Boswell, has due to this protest and your support been nominated for the most prestigious Marine Conservation Award in the world. Funded by Peter Benchley, the author of Jaws. <laughs> he recognised how stupid our fear was and his movie, the damage it did, and he put all the royalties into marine conservation to try and repair the damage done to our oceans thanks to numpties like Cullen. <laughs> the name of the award? It's called The Hero of the Oceans. And by the way, Science Minister Barnett, that is not an anecdote, that's what in scientific circles is called a fact. <laughs> Protectors, today this is the largest protest ever held in Australian history to save one animal. <laughs> and it is our precious misunderstood and much maligned shark. Who would have thought that three months ago? I'm so proud to stand beside you all today. You, you are a part of Aussie history today. And I'm sure if Steve Irwin was looking down from up on high, he'd definitely say crikey to that. Steve, Steve's gone. Malcolm Douglas is gone. They are my heroes and I'm, and I'm sad to say that out loud. Folks, our children desperately need new heroes, achievable heroes, normal everyday humans like Natalie and all of you who have so bravely come here today and won't lie down when bullies like Cullen ignore you. That's, that's pretty much it from me folks. These, these protectors up here are, are much more qualified than me, so I'm going to say thanks for your attention and welcome aboard. And I'm going to finish with a toast my mum taught me. It's a simple one, I love me boats. And it's the tall ships and small ships and all the ships that sail the sea. The best ships are the friendships. So here's to you and me.